Hey there! When you see a picture or a video online, have you ever wondered if it's real? The internet is full of cool stuff, but they are also dangerous online. I'm Wei Ta from the Cyber Security Agency of Singapore, and I'm here to share with you more about deepfakes. In the digital world, many things can look real, but aren't. People can use computer systems known as the Generative Artificial Intelligence, or Gen AI, to make fake pictures or videos that look like the real thing. And these are called deepfakes. Some people might use such contents to trick you. They might pretend to be your friends or family members to make you believe things that are not true or to get your personal information, such as your name or your email address. To protect ourselves from deepfake, we need to know what they are. Let me show you three types of deepfake. First, there's the most common type that is known as the face swap. I can make myself look like another person by replacing my face with someone else's. Here, I look like the Marvel superhero Shang-Chi. And the second type is known as lip syncing. There is a video online and the person in the video looks like Senior Minister Mr. Lee Hsien Long sharing some information. However, this is a fake video. It's a phishing scam to trick people into giving away their money. The deep fake video is made by mixing Senior Minister Lee's real video with fake audio clips. Essentially hands-free crypto trading with a track record of success. The last type is face synthesis. Take a look at these photos. Is this real? Or is this? Guess what? They are both not real. AI uses pictures from the internet to create a photo that looks like a real person. These fake people can be used to trick others into believing fake news or even give away their personal information. Now that we have learned what deepfakes are, let's learn how to protect ourselves from being tricked by deepfakes. This is known as the three A's. Assess, Analyze, Authenticate. Assess if the person in the multimedia content is saying something strange or is trying to get you to share your personal information. You should not share your personal information with strangers online. If the person in the video is telling you to do something urgent or unsafe, such as asking you to download an app or click on an unknown link, ask a trusted adult for help. Next, analyze the content. If the person in the content appears to have unnatural facial expression or if the sound does not sync with the video, be careful as you could be watching a deep fake. Lastly, authenticate. While generative AI is still new, there are special tools being developed to help us check if a content is a deep fake or not. Thank you for joining me on this journey to learn about deepfakes. Remember, if something sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Stay vigilant and do not believe everything you see online. I hope today's sharing will help you to stay cyber safe. Share what you have learned with your families and friends too. 